Hi, I'm Lisa Lockhart and I'd like to talk a little bit about rain lengths. I think that uh, rain length is a personal preference, but I also believe that there are some parameters in which you should adjust your rains. Um, for example, uh, I like to tell people, you know, a good rule of thumb then is, is possibly for the reins to come close to the saddle horn. I feel like any time um, when the horse's head up and they can come to the saddle horn, or in that area that is pretty good. Anytime if you pull on your reins and your reins come all the way up to your chest, I feel like that would definitely be too long that I don't see the scenario in which having that long reins would be beneficial. But uh, once again, pretty good rule of thumb. Um, if they can kind of come close to the saddle horn. For example, on this horse, just because I feel like I've got to keep my hands more quiet, he's extremely light. I have a real light bit on him. And so I um, try to keep my hands as, as quiet as possible. And so I shorten my reins on this particular horse just um, you know, they come to my saddle blanket or so, but it just forces me, personally, to just keep my hands quieter and as low as possible when I drop to one rein going around the barrel. So I think your horse in particular will help you adjust your rein length too, but keeping in mind some parameters of, uh, you know, some guidelines, for example, not having too long a reins so or necessarily having too short to where they maybe would pull you forward, but to where you can also be comfortable personally also.